I met Aquarius on a pit stop to discovering myself. So it would be accurate to say that he came into my life at perfect timing. He had a quiet, cool, but detached vibe. Not unfriendly, just detached. I remember the first day we met, he stood the precise distance, putting himself at the very edge of my personal space. He wouldn't sit too close or give me too much attention, giving me the same courtesy he would a stray cat who showed up at his front door. He loved to talk, but it became clear that he'd already decided he was right. He would allow you to express your opinion, but when the conversation was over, he made it a point to let you know his point of view was the correct one. He loved to appear analytical, as it was something that made him feel he possessed a certain level of intelligence. No, I take that back. I don't think it made him feel he had a certain level of intelligence. I think it made him feel like others believed he did it, and that's what he liked about it. He would purposely tell me stories about one of his best friends who would respond emotionally and become violent every time they got into a disagreement. This is something Aquarians frown upon because being emotional to them is not a sign of power like using your mind. Using his mind translated to a lot of talking and sometimes he would know what he was talking about but mostly he didn't. He was clever about it though. He would ask a ton of questions in order to get the answers he was pretending to already know. As a Scorpio, I knew what he was doing, but I didn't even care. My ego has never been about being the most knowledgeable. He took pride in being different, and he was flat out rebellious to the point of controversy. He dressed in a way that would have others talking about him behind his back, and he refused to follow any rules even if the rules made sense. He would debate everything as if he was the only one who knew the truth. If he was wearing a blue shirt, he would debate the fact that it was blue, then go into how the brain perceives light differently for everyone and just because I thought it was blue didn't mean it was really blue. These are the types of conversations he loved to engage in. His constant talking forced me to be more verbal than I cared to be because he would not let anything rest. My automatic response would normally be to shut down like a typical Scorpio moon, but for some reason, I decided not to let him win in that area.